Other sections that require servicing are the pilot stems. In this case, we are servicing the pilot stems on a 5 and 3 quarter inch gas booster. Pilot stems are located on both ends of the barrel. To access the pilot stems, use an 11 16 socket to loosen the assembly. Extract the cap plug and the spring. Then, using needle nose pliers, pull out the pilot stem. First, examine the pilot stem for any gunk buildup and clean off all residues. Make sure the pilot stem is not bent and examine the rubber seat and make sure it is not flat. The rubber seat needs to be plump in order to maintain a tight seal. Make sure to lubricate the pilot stem with Haskell silicone based lubricant before reassembly. Remove the other pilot stem using the 11 16 socket. If you get confused between the two pilot stems, remember the long pilot stem goes on the lower part of the booster and the shorter pilot stem goes on the upper. You can also use the dash number on each pilot stem to help identify its placement by referring to your original Haskell drawing. In many cases, a simple lubrication of the pilot stem assembly is all that's necessary for service. To lubricate each pilot stem, remove it and use Haskell silicone based lubricant. Next, insert the pilot stem back into the unit's casting hole, but first inspect the hole to make sure that it is not worn out. A worn casting hole will require replacement of the end cap. Replace the spring and cap plug to complete this process. There is no set torque requirement for the cap plug. Simply tighten it until it bottoms out. During normal operations, a booster should produce a single puff of air from the vent port on every cycle. However, a continuous airflow from the port indicates the need to service the pilot stem packing. To access the pilot stem packing, you must first disassemble the air drive section of the pump. This will be covered in the air drive section of this program. 